coming. Right now, we ask you to direct your attention to the City Vision Board in center field as we relive some of the memorable moments from Mike Piazza's Hall of Fame career. Hi, this is Mike Piazza, catcher of the New York Mets. Hi, Mike. Oh, 
baseball morning love life. He was relentless, his attitude, his work ethic every day, and he never gave up. He's a guy who always liked to compete. He liked to compete to win. Mike's the type of guy that could uh, carry a team. Nothing would stop him from working. In the winter, we would shovel the cage out, and he'd hit for hours. He never was to stop. And I knew at that time we had something special. I think I hit the ball as good as he does when I was 16. Straight from here rather than going out again, right? I gave more time. He looks good. This kid looks good. It's actually one of the best stories in baseball history. 60-second round pick. Went for over a thousand players drafted ahead of him. There wasn't a lot of hype around Mike when he first came up, but you started seeing the numbers that he was putting up in Los Angeles. He was maybe the brightest star in the game. The deal was a place that would send Gary Sheffield, Bobby Bonilla to Los Angeles for Mike Piazza. The trade unfolded almost in slow motion. Everybody knew the Marlins were going to flip them and move them as soon as possible. Mets fans get to enjoy a New York style piazza. The All Star catcher traded to the Mets. The fans are juiced about the arrival of the five time All Star. For general manager, making a trade is rewarding. We knew that as soon as we announced that we were getting Mike Gotson, it was going to blow the world up. And, and it did in New York baseball. I had the rumors, and then we got trade to uh, Piazza. I said, oh, I, I believe when I see him. <laughs> There's Carl Mike up the tunnels on Shea Stadium. So it's through now. We had a different uh, walk, a little different bounce in our step the day after he got there. This one hit the left field. Piazza has his first home run as a Met. We were excited that we were getting a superstar. He was a premium star of the game. That he was. He was a superhero. He was uh, something that uh, every team wanted. So difficult for a catcher to be in the number one offense with threat. And that's why I always marvel about guys like Mike Piazza. What a show! The blue collar, real baseball fan. There was a connection. Mostly because he was their guy. We were sitting at home and we got a phone call that the New York Mets had dropped off some tickets at the firehouse where my father would work. So me, and my mom, my brothers. Went to the game that night. You know, it was 10 days removed from you know the biggest tragedy in the last you know 50 years in this country. To play in New York was a big question. Should we do it? You didn't know what was going to happen at any point in time, both in and out of the stadium. It was an unbelievable, intense environment. And when we came together and saw the full house, it, it was just inevitable that something really special was happening. You know, first pitch kind of being like part of normal seems going to be back for a little while. Great game. 2-1, um, I believe, late in the game. Five of the eighth inning. We got all Alfonso drew a walk. Piazza came up. Well, he came up to bat. Like so many at bats in the past, you hoped that this was going to be the turning point of the game. Lopez wants it away. It seemed like time just stopped right there, and uh, it's a ball that may not have landed yet. Everything is going to be normal again. And that one run unified New Yorkers. There was absolute confusion until Mike hit that ball. And then there was an absolute clarity of what we were doing and why we were doing it. Maybe this was meant to be. From Norristown, Pennsylvania, drafted in 1988 in the 62nd round. Today, he calls Cooperstown home. Michael Joseph Piazza.
No fans rock the house like Mets fans. The thing I miss most is making you cheer. Mike didn't just make it, he made it all the way to Cooperstown. 